Hey everybody, Carl here from Apt, and this is the SVS Prime Speaker System, and in this video we're going to go over the main features of this setup and talk about some of the stuff that we really liked and some of the stuff that we didn't like, although there's not much of that. And at the end of the video, we'll give you a sound test. So this is a great looking pair of speakers. The piano black is really classy and gives them a high-end look and feel, however, they pick up fingerprints like crazy, so once you have them set where you want them, clean them off and never touch them again. Just kidding. You can move them around, just make sure you have a microfiber handy. And they're fairly compact. The active speaker is about 10 and a quarter inches tall, a little over 6 inches wide, and about 7 and a quarter inches deep. The passive speaker is the same height and width, but it's a little bit shallower. The passive speaker really doesn't have much going on in the way of connections, really just the input for the cable coming from the active speaker. Now the active speaker is where all of the good stuff happens. On the back, you've got all your main connections. There's a sub out if you're looking for more bass, and there's some great options from SVS to help out with that. There's an analog RCA input, an optical in, 3.5 millimeter analog input, ethernet input if you want a more steady connection, and a USB input for firmware updates. You're also gonna find buttons to set up the Wi-Fi and Bluetooth as well as a toggle for switching from mono to stereo. The active speaker is also where you're going to plug in the power cable, which is the only one you need. The passive speaker doesn't require its own power connection, hence the term passive. And don't forget, if you like what you see here in this video, you can actually pick these up at our store here in Glenview, Illinois, or online at app.com. Now, you can run all your sound directly through the speakers using any of those inputs that we just mentioned, or Bluetooth, but these are also PlayFi enabled speakers, which means you can use the PlayFi app. Now, PlayFi isn't my favorite audio app, but it's certainly come a long way since it was introduced several years ago. For anyone not familiar, it's basically a way to consolidate all your audio apps and music kind of into a single space for easy access, and you can control other PlayFi speakers throughout your home as well, so it's, it's pretty simple to use. But it's the sound quality, and I guess the speaker cabinets, where these really shine. You get a good amount of bass, and the mids and highs sound clean and defined. And here's what makes these sound so good. They each have a 1 inch aluminum dome tweeter and a 4.5 inch mid range driver. And driving those are dual Class D power amps that provide up to 200 watts total RMS power and allow for discrete driver by amplification. So, if you hook them up to your TV to use in place of the TV speakers or a soundbar, you can use the provided 10 foot connection cord to get better separation, which creates a wider sound stage than you'd find on really anything but a very high end soundbar. And if you've got a desk that's big enough to fit these, they also make a great pair of computer speakers. But you don't have to use them for any of that, really. You can just set them up in a room as a great pair of stereo speakers. So, as far as install goes, they're pretty versatile and definitely an improvement over lots of other sound bars and standard computer speakers out there. Now, here's that sound test that we promised you. So what'd you think? Are these speakers you'd put in your home? Make sure you let us know in the comments. As always, we appreciate you checking out our video and don't forget to subscribe so you get updates anytime we upload new content.